let's define the same thing for our y-axis so we can look up and down so if rot x and y short for rotation x and y equal equals rotation axis dot dot mouse y so we're saying here if in our script in the inspector mode in our rotation x and y we have selected mouse y we want our player to be able to look up and down so let's start defining all that so rotation y minus equals input input sorry dot galaxies then mouse what input are we getting mouse y and we're going to times it by sensitivity y and times it by time dot dot time before we continue I just want to go back and show you something do you remember I said that why we use sensitivity it's because we want our player to move smoothly while making a 360 turn so if I set my X to a thousand you can see how fast he makes a turn now if I lower that down to say 10 he will move really slowly so yeah that's the reason why we defined our that's the reason why we defined our sensitivity and why we times it with our input let's continue back to our rotation um, y and we're going to find a new quaternion for this as well so quaternion we're going to uh, make a new quaternion within it it's going to be called y quaternion it's going to be equal to quaternion dot angle axis rotation y comma vector free dot right close bracket close the comment and let's define our transform transform dot local rotation equals original rotation and times it by uh, y quaternion save it Go back to unity now if you run the game you're gonna get a little issue at the moment we can make a 360 turn oops hold on stop the project I attach the script to the main camera uh, make sure your rotation x and y is set as mouse y run the game now we can make a 360 turn that's good but if you look up and down as you can see we can make a full 360 turn now that's unrealistic and we're going to prevent that from happening as we did in the javascripting we defined a new function called clamp angle and what that function did was it clamps our angle if we reach the certain uh, rotation value so as as you can see mouse no minimum y and maximum y is 50 so if we reach 50 it will clamp our angle and stop us from going any further and then if we're lower than 50 it will stop us as well so we're stuck in our angle so let's start defining that let's make a new public static float type first then the name clamp angle open bracket float angle then 
float min and then float max close that bracket open curly brace close curly brace if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace copy this if statement paste it right underneath this first if statement save it so we're gonna say if angle is less than minus 360 we want our angle to add back keep adding up until it returns to 360 so angle plus equals 360 let's copy this and paste it away and let's just change this to greater than 360 and let's change the plus to minus now what I say it is I'm going to use our examples above if our angle was minus 45 on our y-axis if we have gone further than that angle stop our angle and make it equal to 45 so we cannot go any lower than that or higher than that and this is doing the exact thing same thing but it's doing it for our um, y-axis plus so if you're moving upwards on the y-axis and it's hit hit its goal which is 50 if it's greater than 50 it will block our angle for us so we cannot go any further so I'll stop our rotation but at the moment this won't work because it's not returning anything so I'm going to add return maths f dot clamp open bracket we're going to say our angle which is the rotation we defined x or y our minimum and our maximum now that's all set now what we need to do is go to our update under rotation x our plus input add the following line rotation x equals clamp angle and then we said we want our rotation so rotation x comma and then we said we wanted the minimum our minimum x and then we said we wanted our max maximum x close it off save it copy this line paste it for the y as well change the x to y's capital y's not small save it now if we run this our y-axis should clamp if it reaches 50 let's test it and see if it works so there we go the system knows that we've reached 50 degrees on our angle it's going to block us from going any further now and the same with the bottom as for the x axis we are freely allowed to make a full 360 turn and that's what we're looking for fantastic so yeah guys well done if you come if you followed this through give yourself a pat on the back and well done again so basically this is how you would create this script into C sharp now just to give you a heads up about the tutorials every time I want to create a tutorial I will be making it with Java first because I will explain it in Java first and then I will make the C sharp tutorial showing you how to convert that script into C sharp because like I said both have different syntax and they give you errors if you just try and copy and paste 
well i hope you enjoyed watching and i hope you learned something new but before i go today i have a special announcement to make i am looking for um, an animator and a modeler basically i'm not just goofing about with these tutorials i'm aiming something really high for you guys and what i want to do now is start getting some environments built well not environments i could do that uh, models characters because when we use our ai i'm going to start using animation and i'm going to start actually using a model instead of a capsule which is very dull and i'm going to start introducing cinematics in our game as well i know it's a bit too early but people ask for it sometimes and it's really interesting and the most important update is the reason i am looking for animators and a modeler is because one of my friends has asked me to make an upgrade system and he told me that he would like to see an upgrade system like crisis where you bring your hand up and you have a bunch of gooey stuck on it and if you click on this GUI, you unlock this and then upgrade your weapon in real time. So I'm going to be making something like that for you guys as well, so you can see how it's done. And yes, if you're interested, please leave a comment below or send me a PM or email me. I'll be looking forward and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.